At Granite Hills High School in El Cajon, this piece was intriguing to me because it has an ironic aspect to it, water being drawn on land. Literally, the student artists of this piece wanted to bring light to aquatics without having to travel to the water itself. The first thing to notice is the giant wave about to crash down towards the middle of the picture. There is another lift of water on the right side of the picture. This shows directional forces towards the center of the entire frame. Both sides of the wave are pointing towards the center and cause the viewer to consider the implied space. Implied space means there is a possibility of a meaning or story happening behind the main attraction. This brings me to my next point, symmetry. I would not consider this painting symmetric because it does not have nearly identical characteristics on both sides of the center axis. There is also no balance of complementary colors. On a color wheel, the opposite color of one chosen should complement that chosen color the most. Blue's complementary color in that case would be yellow, and there is no other color in this painting than shades of blue and white.